Hey, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be looking at this 3D printed 140 scale MP001 cycle head from Heavy Weapon System. Heavy Weapon System or HWS is a 3D printing studio and online store that primarily focuses on 3D printed option parts for Gundam model kits. They offer mostly 1144 and 1100 weapons, option parts, and detail sets, printed and designed in-house. This is Brian doing the printings, washings, and cleanings. He said he doesn't want to go too much into the technical parts, but this is how each of his products were made. This 140 scale Saku head from the brand new Mecha Portrait line is HWS first foray into standalone model kits and it comes in 9 different parts. I always do a test fitting build whenever dealing with resin or 3D kits just in case if I need any adjustment. But this Saku head is fitting perfectly. And thus it looks like a capsule toy. This is how the parts look like straight out of the package and minimal sanding and cleaning is still required. I'm gonna try some of these sanding sponges, sandpapers, and sanding sponge sticks from Matworks. These are the firm sanding sponge sticks, and they have a different grid on each side. I think the sanding sponge is more suitable for round surfaces, and they are soft and flexible. These adhesive sandpapers can be used with the grinding plate boards, but I think I prefer the sponges better. Wet sanding, wear a respirator, or placing a wet towel like how I do can stop yourself from breathing in toxic resin particles and also clean up the area thoroughly after. After applying black primer, I'm using Mr. Color UG7 MS Deep Green. I know the color looks kind of bright in this lighting, but this is the Saku Green and you'll see it in a bit. I'm adding a jewel for the mono eye. And time for some panel line. I've shown how I did panel line with 0.3 mechanical pencil in the past episode. And this time, I'm gonna use Tamiya panel line as in color in black. I think Saku in general looks cooler when it's weather. Not gonna do battle damage this time. It's just too much work. I'm smudging the black paints with the sponge. And for the black powder weathering pastel, it's like how I do my smoky eyes makeup. I like applying with my fingers. I know I could have done better with some rusting color. I promise I'll do a bit more next time when Brian gives me the number 2 bus printing.
hope you guys liked my video today and don't forget to visit HWS official website. They're planning to offer more standalone mega bus as well model kits in the future. So stay tuned. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And you're welcome to leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. See you in the next one.